All right, in this video, let's go ahead and change both person and car tables to use UIDs instead of big serial as their primary keys. So go ahead and open a person dash car dash two dot SQL from the exercise files folder. And what we're going to do is actually change the actual ID in both person as well as car. So just let me show you quickly the data types in case you have forgotten. So I'm inside of the Postgres data type docs, and you can see that this is a list that you've seen at the beginning of this course. So big int, big serial. So you've, you've seen this one here, which is a auto incrementing eight byte integer. So if I scroll down, you can see that we have UIT right here. So universally unique identifier. So I'm gonna go back to VS Code and let's actually change it. So instead of big serial, let's go ahead and change this to UID. So UID, just like that. And the same for the car table. So UID, just like that. And one more thing that we're going to do is actually improve upon the actual name of our primary key. So let's go ahead and pretty much just say that this will be a person underscore and then UID and the same for car. So this will be car underscore and then UID. And then what we need to do is in the actual um, foreign key, so right here, so this no longer references a big int, so this has to be a UID. And this will be car and then UID, just like that, references and then car underscore UID. So car UID, so this is the foreign key that references car and then car underscore UID, which is the actual primary key. And now we have to change the actual inserts, right? So before we weren't including the actual ID because it was managed by the sequence. Now we have to be explicitly about it. So we have to include ID here, or well, actually no ID. So we renamed it to person and then underscore UID, so just like that. And then the actual value is UID, and then generate underscore and then V4. So remember, this is the function that we saw in the previous video. So I'm gonna pretty much just do the same for the rest. So I'm gonna copy that. So this should be person and then underscore UID, and then paste that in. So invoking the function, the same here, again, invoking the function. And let's do the same for car. So car, and then UID, values, and then we paste that function there. The same for this next car. So car, underscore UID, and then paste the function there. All right, and finally, what we need to do is actually change the order of these table creations. So remember, because we have a foreign key constraint here to car, so car must exist first. So just let me add car first here, and then the actual person. And one last thing that I forgot is that this should be car and then underscore UID, just like that. So I'm gonna save this as person and then dash car and then dash and then three dot SQL in my desktop. So I'm gonna save that and we are good to go. Now open up item or terminal or command line if you are on Windows. Now, because we're going to recreate these two tables, let's go ahead and drop the table called person first because there is a foreign key constraint between person and car. So go ahead and drop person first and also drop car. So we're gonna drop car. Now I'm gonna go ahead and execute this file right here. So this file from my shell. So I'm gonna do backslash I for execute from my file. And then the destination of that will be forward slash users, forward slash amigos code, forward slash desktop, forward slash and then person dash car dash 3.sql. Now, if I go ahead and execute, 
you can see that everything works. So we have two creations, so two table creations, and then a few inserts. Now, if I clear the screen and do a select start from person. So this time, let me actually go ahead and press backslash X. So you can see that the expanded display is on, perform the same select. And you can see that the person you it is now the primary key and the actual value is a randomly generated UID. So right here, you can see that they are absolute different. So in fact, let me go ahead and describe person. So person, so you can see that the actual type is UID. Let's also go ahead and do the same for car. So select start from and then car. And you can see that we have two cars right here. So one last thing that we have to do is actually assign some cars. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and update or first, let me make this smaller, the expanded display and simply type backslash X and that toggles it off. So I'm going to make this a bit smaller so you can see exactly what we're doing. Now, let me go ahead and select start from person and also select start from or actually all uppercase from and then car. There we go. So now let's go ahead and update and then person set and then car underscore UID equals two. And let's grab this first UID. So this one here, and this has to be within quotes where and then person underscore UID. So we're going to assign this car to let's say, let's say this time Adriana gets to get the car. So we're going to paste that in, update that. And also let's go ahead and assign a car to Fernanda. So Fernanda will have a car. So just let me delete that. And the car will be GMC and then grab this car UID and then paste that in. Enter, you can see that works. Now let's go ahead and perform a join. So select star from and then person and on a new line, join. And then we're going to join car and then we can say on person dot and then car and then underscore you it equals to car dot car and then you it. If I press semicolon, enter, and you can see that if I make this smaller, so because we have lots of columns, so press enter, still not enough, but let me go ahead and add the expanded toggle. So backslash X and then perform the same query. And now you can see that this first record so this one right here. So this is Adriana and you can see that it has the person details as well as car details. So it's a join between those two tables and the same for Fernanda. And you've learned this on the join section. So I can make this bigger now so you can see it properly. So now I want to show you one thing and that is you see that we perform a join right here, right? So join car on person dot car UID and then car and then dot car UID. So because these fields are the same, so the keys, i.e. the foreign key and the primary key are the same, we can pretty much just remove that. And then I can say join car and then using. So this is using and then car UID. Because both the primary key and the foreign key have the same name, instead of you saying car and then dot car underscore UID, person dot car UID, you can simply much ditch that and use this using keyword, which is much nicer. So let me go ahead and press enter. You see that also works. So we could also do a left join. So we want to grab everyone with and without a foreign key constraint. So for that left and then join and then press enter. And now you can see that we have three people back and Omar, 
he doesn't have a car. So right here you can see that car information is empty for him. And let me go ahead and perform a left join and then where. So let me go ahead and say where and then car dot and then star is no. So now we should only get Omar. There we go. And this is how you use UIDs with Postgres. And also you saw that this keyword right here using is really useful when both the foreign key and the actual primary key have the same name. This is all for this video. If you have any questions on using UIDs, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.